So we have, ooh, no, no second chances. So you guys are like maybe giving up on a situation. You're done with the per somebody's bullshit. You've had enough, all right? So you guys are in the process of letting somebody go. Yeah, retreating. You're, be you're becoming very co closed off and like, yeah, closed off or retreating from a situation. And it's leading to some type of positive times ahead. It says successful outcome. Um, whatever you're trying to achieve by cutting this person off or letting them go, it's there's a su successful outcome on the horizon. Spirit says all is well. We have feeling abandoned. Somebody feels like you abandoned them. Ghosted, unwanted, breakup, sad. So somebody's mad that you let them go, but you got tired of their BS, it looks like here. You all wow, guys, you know your worth. Treating you right. You know you deserve somebody that treats you right and values you, right? You were dealing with a very prideful person. Somebody that was refusing to change, refusing, refusing to budge, always wanted to be right. Um, but this person also has like a jealous streak or something too. Like they don't want anybody else to have you, but they also don't want to give you what you deserve. Yeah, there's questions and doubts here. Some of you guys wondered if this person had another, like a, a work, a work boo. Some of you guys wonder if this person had a work wife or a work husband. <laughs> two, two, two on the camera. Uh, yeah, you thought they had somebody that they were dealing with in a romantic way. Or there, for some of you, it could be a work partnership or you met at work, but I don't know. So what's that to do with my collective? When least expected. So you and this person could. What about when least expected? Self-sabotaging behaviors. Setting a date. What? What about self-sabotaging be holding back? Okay. Grit by obsession. What's this mean for my collective? Somebody's obsessed with you, but they are, what? You have a, a person obsessed with you who tried to, to think, you You thought that this person didn't feel the same way about you. For some of you, you thought it was a platonic relationship, or you thought that it was just more friendly, or they were trying to put you in the friend zone. They were stringing you along. Yeah, dragging out the relationship, keeping you as a plan B, playing the field, keeping their options open, right? Avoiding you. Yeah. Yeah. And you, I feel like you've, you've, or they tried to make it seem like they were no longer interested in you or that they were moving on or something like that. Something you thought was over. Somebody's going to want to come in and get serious and stop playing games with you. All right. This, this is somebody that is obsessed with you, fixated on you, but they like are very hot and cold and they send mixed signals. They hold back from you. They've been resisting the connection. They've been being closed off, right? Self-sabotaging. Fear is pessimism, runner, trigger. So the runner is actually obsessed with you. And you're going to be, when you least expect it, it's going to be very surprising. Somebody's going to want to come in and like have like a more serious relationship with you. <laughs> now that you guys have gotten fed up, of course, of course, right? So, hmm. So that's set like the, the tone for the reading. So let's take, let's take a deeper look, see what's going on here. This person was like doubtful about you or they wanted like they were unsure about you, hesitating when it came to you. Or somebody doesn't know if you're really done with them. Like maybe somebody's feeling like somebody's being left with questions and doubts. Like if you if you ghosted this person or they didn't really want this breakup, they're sad over you. They feel like there's a lack of clarity around the situation or you feel like this person would ghost you and abandon you. And you feel like you, you're left with a lot of questions. Maybe it's on both ends. Like you just still don't understand quite what was going on between you and this person. We have the hermit. So you guys could be on the twin flame journey because this, yeah, this came out for the twin flame reading I just did. So yeah, we have Virgo. Energy with the hermit. Someone's in solitude or is doing some soul searching. Somebody could just be withdrawing from a situation, going into solitude, cut, yeah, doing inner work here. Yeah, cleaning up their life, cleaning up their mind, their energy. Cutting karmic ties. Tell me more. Sexual encounter. Uh-oh. So you guys could have maybe had some type of sexual encounter with this person or that's what things are like with them. What does that have to do with my collective? Eight of Pentacles. See, what does that have to do with sexual encounter? What a catch. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're no longer letting this person, like, because you feel like this person was maybe using you for sex. You thought it was more like friends with benefits or like they were like there was more of like a sexual bond between you and this person. Or you guys had some type of sexual encounter with this person or you will. And then after that happens, you guys are going to be like. Maybe this person. Yeah, you're like, I see you guys setting some type of boundaries here. After this. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was weighing their options or juggling you. Like they would have sex with you. But they they were still they weren't sure about you. 
All right, so, but they knew you were a catch too. Wanting to conquer you, fear of losing you. They, it's like they, they've been juggling you, but they also know that you're not somebody that they should take losing, losing you. Take they, how do I say that? They, they know losing you, they should not take lightly. Like that would be a big loss for them. What's the Eight of Pentacles? What are they working on? Magician. They want to work on something with you, but why are they juggling you then? Death. Well, what's the Two of Pentacles? Maybe they want to put an end to juggling. Maybe they want to. Yeah, they want to put an end to. Yeah, they. Yeah, they want to put an end to this. Yeah, they want to apologize. They were juggling, but like now they feel like you're a catch. Or they're, they're not somebody that they want to lose. Yeah, they want to change. They're trying to change for you or something like that, but they're working on changing. But tell me more about my collective's energy towards this person. How does my collective feel about the situation? Nine of swords. Oh, shit. You guys, this person stresses you out. You feel like it says nightmare situation, sorrow, regret, remorse. Like, you guys are sad over this person. Or they put you in your head. Sleepless nights. Like, you just feel like the situation has been terrible. Wow, yeah, you feel like, you kind of feel like this person plays you with the seven of swords and the fool. You feel like this person, like, for some of you, you feel like this person is hiding that they have a new person or something like that. You know, you feel like they were deceiving you. They were lying. They were, they, yeah, they cheated on you or something like that. What's this mean for my collective? The nine of cups. What's this mean for my collective? The nine of cups. Temperance. I feel like you were maybe, you're still maybe hoping for some type of reconciliation with this person, but you're You're just like, you're just focusing on, yeah, withdrawing from love at this time, healing and yeah, spending some time alone and just letting fate and destiny take over. Yeah. Giving it to the divine. What is the nine of cups and the temperance? Like you're kind of like, you know, focusing on your own happiness or something like that. What does this have to do with the seven of swords and the fool? You're like, you're like exploring new possibilities or something like that. Tell me about, you're like, you're having like a new beginning where it's like more self-focused, healing, being patient with what's to come. Tell me about the seven of swords. We have the king of wands. So you could have been dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sag. We do have Leo energy here. We have Sag energy here. So heavy fire energy, definitely. So we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you feel like this person was being lustful. Like they were, they, they wanted, they love you, but they didn't want a commitment. They wanted their freedom and their independence. Like they wanted it all. You feel like this person wanted their cake and eat it too. Yep. Yep. Page of pentacles. That, that's why they were bread, breadcrumbing you or something like that. Six of wands, prideful, egotistical. What about children? Or you feel like they're childish. Yeah. They're very, there's all these, yeah, pages here. You feel like this person's childlike. They're very like fickle. Yeah. Awakening. Two of Wands. You're just kind of surrendering to the process now. Yeah. Cold as ice. Inconsiderate behavior. Yeah, you're sick of this person giving you these mixed signals. Yeah, call, disappointing you. Like, you're sad over this person. There's been a breakup. And you feel like you waited a long time. Like, you put your life on hold for this person to some degree. Like, but what's this mean going forward with this person? We have the Four of Cups. The nine of wands. This person's not. They're in this very guarded. They're maybe at the end of a. Um, they're not. They're not happy about the two of you being apart either. But they're not saying nothing. They're not saying anything to you because you've set some type of firm boundaries with them. Yeah, they miss you. But yeah, they do have an emotion for you, and you guys were divinely guided to one another. But they feel like they're going through karma. That's why. That's why things are stuck right now. There's karma that needs to be reaped or played out, or karmic lessons that need to be learned. So, it looks like this person needs to learn lessons with, like, not playing with something that you know is special. Like, when you get something special, like, you don't, you don't mishandle it like this. Yeah, like, they mishandled something. All right. Um, what do I want to use? Like, it's going to catch you off guard when this person comes back talking about, let's be, I want us to be in a serious relationship. You're going to be like, what? So we have the witch. So it says, they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you've put them under a spell. Past life, their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew 
you were the one they've been waiting for. I told you they played with somebody who they knew was the one. They knew from the very beginning. If you guys didn't know, they knew from the very beginning that you were the one. Yeah, didn't I say this because very similar to the Twin Flame reading? Yeah, you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. See, we now, why did, I'm sick of this gossip energy that keeps coming out this week. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. What about gossip? Justice, they're trying to do, so like they have a lot of people telling them what they think is, they're listening to others, or other people's opinions about what the right thing to do is. And they're listening. Somebody's telling them what the right thing to do is, but it's not the right thing for them, right? They're trying to do the right thing by offering you, or maybe somebody is telling them, maybe they're talking about how they want to offer you something more solid, that you do deserve that. But they need to like, they, they're trying to be care careful, yeah, carefully, carefully considering this. Considering, consider, considering it. What in the hell? Considering it. <laughs> Build an, an empire, building an empire. They know, they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy and only holding them back from love. So yeah, that's maybe an issue as well. Breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication really soon. And we have telepathy. You guys are energetically connected. The tele telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints on their heart. Yeah, dealt a bad, bad hand. They wish they'd met you in a different time because they feel they'll never get to see the connection. See what the connection could have been. Hmm. Unsighted. They are unable to see. Yeah, they couldn't see how toxic they were, guys. They couldn't see how they negatively affected you. They are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all they know. They're so, yeah, so they probably grew up in toxicity. They've only been in toxic relationships, so that was all that they knew, right? We have lustful desires, yeah. There's a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. Some of you guys are like in this energy of like, you're not going to sleep with this person no more. Like, you're not going to, yeah, you're not doing that. Or you guys are going celibate or something like that. We have investigating. They are secretly snooping around, which that was there too. Hmm. They are secretly, secretly snooping around and asking friends about you in order to see if there's, if you're dating someone new. So I told you this person's possessive over you. They snoop or they watch you in some way or they keep tabs on you to see if you've moved on. They don't want anybody else to have you. Because, yeah, you guys are currently in separation. They're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. So they feel like they should prioritize what they want or them over you right now in this connection because they feel like right now they don't have anything to give, which, I mean, I guess is good, right? They, you have to have, you can't pour from an empty cup. So this person feels like they need to, like, work on themselves first before they can try to build a relationship with you. Yeah, I knew this card was going to come out. Energy cord, definitely a strong energetic connection here. Despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. Yeah. Love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire and, and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. A quen unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Yeah, they can't deny that there's something going on between the two of you. But that, yeah, there's a choice that they need to make. It has something to do with like, yeah, they are clear, clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. It could have something to do with family, ancestry. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side. They risk losing you forever if they don't. Tell me about ancestral karma. What is it? How does that tie in this situation? The mask. So they want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. So that's somehow tied into, into their ancestral karma. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. So they don't quite trust this connection. They kind of feel like it's a little bit too good to be true. And that led... Yeah, to some type of betrayal or them being fickle, sending you mixed signals. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. Yeah, boundaries. They love you. You, Yeah, this person's very wishy-washy in and out, and that's why it's very important for you guys to set boundaries. They, they love you. They love that you set some strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So that has made them respect you more, the fact that you walked away from them. But yeah, you and this person both are guarded to some degree. But you guys also feel very drawn to one each other, one another. But when it's like when you guys are near each other in communication, you guys have a hard time being vulnerable with one another. But it's like you guys have left a permanent mark on each other. Yeah, it can't be erased. Like you guys won't be able to forget this or let this go. Type thing. So let's see. 
Hmm, what should I take a look at next? See, someone's losing sleep over this or somebody is feeling pushed is consumed is worrying a lot about this connection um they someone feels like they're being pushed to their breaking point here this is me for my collective jealous one see someone yeah so i don't know if it's because you guys have finally you're fed up you're cutting them off you completely cut ties with them for right now you're focusing on yourself the more you focus on you and pull back from this person the less access that they have to you the more jealous that they become, the more that they feel like if they don't get their shit together soon, that they're going to lose you to somebody else. So they're losing sleep over you. They're feeling pushed to their breaking point. They're being consumed with worries when it comes to you. Yeah, fair is fair. But like this is their karma or this is like justice. Like if you're if they're like if they're not willing to give you something balanced, then like they can't expect for you to continue to give to them. So, yeah, there needs to be some a mutual benefit here. Right. Justice, balance, mutual benefit. We have circus in town. So yeah, drama. Somebody maybe feels like they're losing control over you or the situation is a little unpredictable at this time. The cosmos, soul gifts, divine plan. So if you feel like things are kind of like a lot of a little out of control right now or there's a lot of drama or things are kind of unpredictable and you don't really know what's going to happen going forward, Spirit says that this is a part of the divine plan. Yeah, tell me more. Karmic ties. Yeah, somebody is maybe going through some type of chaos. Karmic relationship, karmic situations, debt, not for you. What's this mean for this connection? Because this is a, so there's a karmic in the mix here. Someone was like, so materialism, possessiveness, greed, selfishness has been an issue. What does that have to do with karmic ties? The profound rebel, rule breaker, nonconformist, non-traditional relationship. So they're going to have to break free from some type of like karmic situation or karmic debt here and like kind of like break some type of ancestral karma or like curse or something here in regards to them being a rule breaker or not like or like doing things way differently than they were raised or the way that their family does it or something like that yeah because maybe they have like a family that's really unemotional like they're very like guarded or like closed like there's like they they didn't have like emotional connections with their family or something like that or like their parents and they need to break that cycle or like that, yeah, we have fanned out available. Yeah, they need to become more vulnerable here. No limits or restrictions available. What does that do with, what does that do with grasp of greed? We have painting red roses. So they're trying to fix a situation that like, or try to improve something, or maybe they're trying to work on their issues here. Or like they've been, what, they're maybe, what does this have to do with them? This grasp of greed, painting red roses. They've been trying to like make a bad situation good or like trying to see a bad situation for like, they've been in an illusion about it. What about hand of fate? Calm storm, not phased by it, self-controlled, not reacting. Like they're in a, somebody's in the midst of negativity, but they're trying not to react to it or even kind of like avoid it or act like it's not there. Clean up crew. Yeah, they're going to have to get rid of this. Like, they're going to have to make a healthy choice to remove themselves from this chaos that they live in, these karmic debt, like these karmic situations that they're in. They're going to have to clean up their life instead of ignoring it and, it, and acting like it's not there because it is negatively affecting them so that this blessed union um, can come together. Because it, it says, meant to be together, love that transforms divine mission through this connection, or this connection is helping them, you know, possibly break free from whatever that is, the chaos. Um, you guys are like kind of stepping into this, like, yeah, what about Miss Lazy Daisy? What's this mean for my collective? Solar eclipse. I feel like you guys are kind of stepping into this Miss Lazy Day. Not lazy. That's not the right word. But you guys are kind of like, yeah, it says must give up something to win. So you've got to let this person go to like, kind of like have a favorable outcome in the situation, at least for a time being, because you got to stop taking action towards this person. Like you got to like stop putting so much effort and work into them. You got to stop chasing them. 
Um, and that's what's going to lead to some type of major change. Cause you're going to let also let the divine take over. Stop trying to control the situation. Let them handle it. And that's what it says. Unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart, right? But you're going to have to let this person go for right now to align with your priorities, align with, it's going to actually get the situation more in alignment. And I feel like this was very difficult for you guys to make this decision to do, but it's like, I feel like you guys are going to be letting this go and like embarking on a new journey of like maybe self, like self-discovery. Like, yeah, you could maybe be going through like a dark night of the soul or like a self-discovery period, a rebirth process, or maybe that's what they're also going to be going through as well, because you know, twins mirror each other. So yeah, we have religious factors here. So it says differences in spiritual beliefs, religious traditions, spiritual lessons. So this is a spiritual lesson. Yeah, so they need to learn some spiritual lessons here, and then they will, they're going to return. They like this person's obsessed with you. I'm telling you, like they're very like yeah, memories and nostalgia of the past returns, going back to something, or you need to like yeah, there's something for like some type of spiritual lesson in regards to the past. What's this have to do with this connection going forward? We have a manifestation. Yeah, manifesting dreams. Your power is activated. Everything is flowing easily. Yeah, somebody is just like been. Yeah, bottling up their... What is bottled up here for? Radiant. Someone's, yeah, confidence. What does that do with bottled up? That girl has a bottle in her hand. Well, somebody's going to take a risk here. Yeah, someone's going to take a risk here. And what's that do with bottled up? Bottle wounds. Her, what are they going to take a risk and do? Collector of hearts. They're having an epiphany that they're going to want to settle down. Magical gateway. Go. They're going to go for it. Yeah. They're going to take a risk and go for this connection. Yeah. There's a new beginning in the works here. They're going to, it says discovery or realization, sudden insight into reality, deep, dig deeper for answers. Yeah. They're going to step into like a new confidence or optimism or yeah. This is somebody that used to be a heartbreaker or they had a lot of options or they were just not ready to settle down because they were hurt in relationships in the past or they just had inner child wounds. but. They're going to take a risk on this connection um, and like lay all their cards on the table. But mm, rising star recognition. What's the red flag? What's trouble lurking? Two positive. So it's like this person maybe has a choice between two people or somebody does. Either you do or they do. What does this mean for my collective? The two possibilities. Crossroads. They're going to choose. Okay. This is somebody that's, yeah, this is somebody that has a choice between two people. Yeah, this is maybe somebody that thought that they wanted to keep their options open, that there was maybe somebody better than you. They were trying to figure out what they really wanted. But the signs and synchronicities have been showing somebody. It says you are not alone. It's not an incident or a coincidence. Signs and synchronicities. So maybe they had to, like, go out and do this. Yeah. They maybe made you feel rejected. But I'm telling you, this person was at a crossroads. Whatever this other option was, though, was deceit. A lie. Like, there was trouble lurking. Yeah, but there it says commitment, wedding, and marriage. They choose you. What does that? I want to know though. What's to do with this trouble lurking? Though this decision, it was like they're they were. It was a choice between somebody that they, either they were. Com it was either they're just their comfort zone or somebody that they were more comfortable with, right? But what they didn't know was that that situation had a ton of red flags, and they there was a ton of red flags there. There was bad intentions there. There was lies and deceptions there. But they were trying to like act like it wasn't there. They were trying to ignore it, ignore it and avoid it, but it was causing all types of turmoil in this person's life. But like, they're going to end up choosing you at some point, wanting to commit to you. And yeah, this other situation, it could have been responsibilities, carrying old baggage, clinging to an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. But they're obsessed with you. I'm telling you guys, this person's obsessed with you. Like you are the one they just haven't like, and they've been just wasting time. They've been prolonging the inevitable, like that you guys are going to be together. So the divine has to step in now. Yeah. You're different from anybody that they've ever been with before. And you are a big loss to them. But they've been indecisive about you. They got this con con karmic contract they need to handle. Yeah, this like they they can't this person cannot let you go. This person's obsessing over you. So they know who you are, but they've just been like they've been like living they've been delusional. I don't know. So